welcome to part 4 of my series about soft tubes modular. Today I'm going to talk about the amplifier module dub 4 a 132 uh, DVCA. I'll start with a warning. When you add the amplifier module to your rack, the gain knob is not at zero, but at eight. As a result, the modular starts droning at once you connect the amplifier to the main outputs, even if you have an ADSR envelope generator inserted in your signal path. You might not be aware of that, I wasn't at once when I started working with the modular, and you might think there is something wrong with the ADSR. Well, it isn't. Just turn the gain down to zero. The module dub 4 a 3 DVCA contains two identical voltage controlled amplifiers with a manu uh, manual gain control and a uh, CV input to let other modules control or modulate the gain. The latter can be attenuated following the principle of the uh, CV2 jacket knob of the oscillator module, which we discussed in the last tutorial. The amplifier can be switched between a linear and an exponential mode. Sound, uh, well, sounds quite straightforward, all in all. But you will see there are some facts we should know about and some details we should take into consideration when we use this amplifier module. Let's have a look at the input and the manual gain control first and let's find out when the A1032-3 attenuates a signal, when the module is at an amplification factor of 1, no attenuation, no amplification, and when the module really amplifies the input signal. I feed the output of an oscillator to the right output of the VST and at the same time to the input of the DVCA. Then I connect the output of the amplifier to the left output of the VST and increase the gain. With a linear characteristic, the amplifier's output level reach the level of the input signal from the VCO with the gain knob at 6.4. At about this 6.4, both signals have the same level, the amplification factor is 1. With an exponential characteristic, the amplifier reaches the original input level at about 8. Perhaps you remember at which level the DVCA is adjusted when you add it to your rack. It is at 8 with an exponential characteristic. You know why now. I'll compare the two available amplification characteristics, linear and exponential. The left channel shows the response to the gain at a linear characteristic, the right channel at an exponential characteristic. Both gain knobs are tweaked by the same automation so that they move absolutely parallel and equivalent to each other. Okay, with the gain knob at more than about 6.4 in linear mode and with the knob at more at, uh, than 8 in exponential mode, the DVCA amplifies the input signal and, well, hmm, quite nice, but what about distortion and clipping? I engage two signal analyzers, one of them showing the wave, the other showing the spectrum of the sound. Linear mode at first. 
there is no clipping, no distortion. Well, there isn't much of an amplifying uh, either, and so no clipping, of course. And exponential now. Here we get a nice kind of a square wave when clipping the sine wave-like wave. Let's watch and listen what happens with the other three waveforms. The sound we get from the clipped sine wave is a nice kind of a square, some, somewhat warmer than the original square wave. It is a pity that it is always at the same level. Hmm. Is it? Really? Why not using a second TVCA and regulating the level of the output of the first one? Hmm. Like that. Once again, please, what did you say? Ah, ah, yes, okay, you are right. I didn't have to add a second module, of course not. The A1023 contains already a second amplifier. A word about the linear and the exponential mode of the amplifiers. The main idea is that attenuating or amplifying control voltage is needed in a linear way most of the time, whereas audio signals are mainly attenuated or amplified in an exponential way, because that is how our ears work exponentially. But, of course, you can do as you want to achieve what you are aiming for. Well, processing control voltage now. To prevent a misunderstanding, we use the same input jack to amplify or attenuate audio and control voltage. The jack called CV in is meant to feed signals in, which modulate the gain. So what about hmm, feeding an LFO into the CV in and a VCO into the in jack?
I demonstrated frequency modulation in the last video. The sounds I produced were quite harsh, no matter what frequency relation I chose. Well, that's because of the high amplitude of a modulating VCO. So, I'll insert an A1023 DVCA into the path of the modulating signal, tweaking the gain of the DVCA results in different modulation indexes, in different strengths of modulation. You will find a lot more about FM frequency modulation in my workshop, on one of my other channels, Music VSTs and more. I generated a scale without semitones containing only intervals of two semitones, only whole steps in the last video. Using a DVCA I can construct uh, scales with only even bigger steps, larger intervals. I just have to insert the amplifier module into the CV signal path and turning the gain up. I get larger intervals in exponential mode, of course. Instead of using only one amplifier in exponential mode, we can, of course, use more amplifiers and all of them in linear mode to adjust the wanted scale more accurately. We had a single DVCA and we had more DVCAs in series. So, what about two DVCAs in parallel? Do their output simply add? Well, I have to use a mixer to get both outputs to the same input. Therefore, you may already guess that they really add to each other. Let me try it.
And indeed, their levels simply add to each other. A last experiment. It's nothing new now, but it's very often used. I'll tweak the modulation amplitude of an LFO by inserting an A132 3D VCA in the signal path. Okay, okay, I hear you shouting, and what about amplitude modulation AM? Okay, okay, you are right. So, after the last experiment, now the really very last one, I use a second oscillator to modulate the gain of the amplifier and get amplitude modulation effects. Just a short note to make those of you who have forgotten remember again two waves, both with frequencies in the audible range, one wave modulating the volume, the amplitude of the other, results in the sum and the difference of the frequencies. The original frequency vanishes. That's the difference to ring modulation, by the way. Okay, but this isn't at all a tutorial about amplitude modulation with uh, specific waveforms, so let it be enough for today. All right, it's done again. This was part four of my series of tutorials about soft tubes modular. Thank you for watching. The next part of this series is about um, is going to be about the dub for A108 VCF8 filter module. There is a website of mine at www.rowfilm-medianet where you will find more information about this series of tutorials and about the modular. You can also download all drafts and graphics of this tutorial from there. There is also a forum there, the uh, Deep Sound Divers Coffee House, where you can discuss my videos. Please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. And if you really like this video, please think about donating a little to help me making more videos like this one. Have a great day and a good time. Rolf.